people kept saying was that it was due to uh, obviously the heavy load on my back, which was myself. So I kind of used that as my motivation to try and lose weight. Um, and uh, and then I met an, another another guy, actually, a friend of ours, Ravjit Singh, who actually has lost a lot of weight as well through intermittent fasting. Uh, and he told me about the warrior diet. Um, so obviously came to see Habib Singh in his clinic uh, and I asked him about it and he shared uh, a load of information with me that kind of just inspired me to want to do it. Um, did obviously warn me that the warrior diet is not something that is going to be easy to do at first. So you suggested first to do it for 10 days. Um, but then from 10 days, we've now got to just over three months. So still going strong. Amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to try and not take too much time away from you because um, I, I talk a lot. So I'm going to try and keep um, giving you opportunities to share your experiences because everyone here is enough from me. Obviously, some of these questions um, might be personal and you don't have to answer them. So you can just say, OK, can we skip to the next question? Um, and if you're fine to answer it, then you can answer it. So I'm putting you on the spot a bit. So I, I appreciate that and I appreciate you doing this. So you don't have to answer any of these if you don't want to. Um, none of them is too personal. So don't worry about that. Um, so the second question was um, kind of answered in terms of you heard about it through somebody who had lost weight, which is the the best way to learn, right? You kind of know somebody else has done it that inspires you um, and us. What were your initial thoughts is my next question. So when you heard about this thing, which sounds crazy, and if you can elaborate on what the um, intermittent fasting and the warrior diet is, because there's lots of people out there who don't don't really understand it. So intermittent fasting is basically, uh, for me, is to uh, have a set window where you are eating fruit, um, which does all sorts of health benefits that you know about anyway through Habib Singh's channel. Um, but basically, uh, the window I was uh, uh, advised on was four till eight, which is the warrior diet, which involves me uh, doing a 20 hour fast. Um, so for 20 hours, you don't eat anything. Uh, and then your first meal is f at 4 p.m. Uh, and most days you'll only really have one meal between 4 and 8. Uh, and then have other snacks uh, such as fruit and nuts and uh, like smoothies. Um, but there'll be one kind of meal that you look forward to within that window. Okay, brilliant. So that's really insightful. Most people hearing that would be shocked and they would think, wow, that's crazy. How could somebody do that? Um, um, so, yeah, how how did you do it? I think uh, um, I'm a bit stubborn, <laughs> and I kind of use that to uh, uh, for discipline as well, really. So at first, when uh, uh, Ravjit Singh told me about it, um, I kind of thought that if Ravjit can do it, I can do it. So uh, I kind of just use that to motivate myself. Um, and so um, up until now, obviously, just been able to keep the discipline. Uh, and I think like the results itself, it kind of speaks volumes and, and makes you want to carry on because you start to see visible results and stuff and seeing friends and family um, uh, weighing myself after a week and stuff and seeing results in uh, wearing clothes, uh, seeing clothes getting looser for me and stuff. That kind of just kept me going. So I think uh, once you actually start, uh, that will kind of motivate you to want to carry on and continue because you will definitely see results uh, even in the first week uh, and then going forward as well. Excellent. Thanks for that. Um, so you mentioned kind of a lot of stuff there and knowing you've obviously for uh, a while and going through this journey with you kind of on the on the um, on the outskirts, uh, there's a couple of things that I noticed about you which was that um, you were kind of tracking your weight every week. So feel me if I make any mistakes. Um, and you kind of just got on with it. And also, uh, yeah, so there's a, the, the reason those kind of stand out to me is you'll get some people who will track their weight every day. Um, some people who don't measure their weight, so they have no way of objectively knowing whether they've lost weight. Um, and then there's all that kind of con controversy over whether you should be tracking weight, whether you should just just go by and you know go by your clothes how they fit or so what what are your takes on on um the kind of way that you did it because that was down to you really i think to be honest with you the tracking weight was just kind of for myself uh it was to kind of make sure that what i was eating during the week um wasn't 
too heavy for my body uh, and to kind of see so like this week for example now uh, I'm on week approaching 13 weeks uh, and this week I've started apple cider vinegar uh, and I've kind of changed up my diet this week um, because I've tried to put apple cider vinegar in there uh, through it in my smoothies um, just to kind of see if that has uh, an impact on kind of my uh, my weight and stuff so um, it got to a stage where every week I was losing a certain amount uh, and now I'm trying apple cider vinegar so by next Monday when I weigh myself um, I'll be able to kind of know that if it has had uh, like a major effect in that week um, but then just carry on for maybe even two weeks three weeks so the uh, weighing myself weekly was more of a keeping track for myself to be honest uh, I know some people are not fans of weighing yourself every week but it was just a personal thing to be honest yeah brilliant and I think I think that's a good idea um, in terms of just to keep you on track in so you know, if, you know like let's say yeah it's, without taking up too much of your time um, just to know how things are having an impact on your body or not or whether it's making a difference or not and the only way you'll know is really by doing that so thanks for sharing that um, how was it when you got started like you know your first week your first couple of days how was that can you talk us through that um, I think uh, uh, setting myself the goal of 10 days was definitely um, a way for anyone to go about it. So just uh, anyone that's considering doing it, definitely just set yourself a target of 10 days. See how that 10 days goes and then kind of just take it from there. Um, so for me, it was I just took every day as it comes. Um, after seven days, I weighed myself uh, at yours, funny enough. And, uh, and when I found out how much I'd lost, I was like, wow. That's amazing. Uh, so in my first week, I'd lost uh, eight and a half kg. I think um, as well as obviously that's really good. A lot of that would have been like water and it would have been a result of how my diet was prior to intermittent fasting. So I think it was like a major shock for my body because uh, I'm quite a, a sociable eater. So, uh, or I was, uh, and I would tend to eat uh, you know, takeaways and, and not the greatest of foods. Um, so I think like losing that much in the first week was kind of a result to kind of a bit of a shake up for my body. Um, that, you know, um, you know, you're, you're doing good. So drop the old lifestyle and kind of go with the new. Amazing. And just to kind of, um, go back to that point, cause you mentioned something really interesting about being a social eater. And I think a lot of us are, a lot of food is around, uh, rituals that we might have or uh, routines and stuff so obviously that's a big shift to um, you know to do that how did it how did you go about doing that how did it impact on your social life how did you manage social situations where you know if everyone's going out for you know something and how did you manage that? I think uh, it's just discipline really um, a friend of mine got married uh, about a month ago and I remember going to his wedding at the Good Butter and, uh, and I looked around and everyone was eating, uh, you know, your pranti and your samosi and everything. And I and there was me getting tea bags out of my pocket and having a green tea. So it's like, uh, it's just, just a bit, you know, kept the discipline really and just looked around and thought, okay, everyone's munching on all these pranti and samosi pagodi, but there's me drinking a green tea because obviously didn't really fancy eating at that time because of my window. So I think discipline is key. You have to obviously like to see results and to want to achieve your goals. You have to have that discipline um, with anything really in life. But you obviously just keeping that discipline was really, really important for me. Uh, and I was lucky to kind of keep that going. Amazing. And I think that's kind of what differentiates you from a lot of people, um, including myself, is that... Um, you know, we kind of all want quick fixes. We, we all want somebody to do it for us and um, somebody to just, whatever it is that we might be trying to achieve health-wise for that result to just come. Whereas actually it's that, it's those little wins, like how you manage that wedding scenario and, you know, the, the, and they're, they're the things that make the difference, not somebody that something's, somebody's going to say or something that you're going to buy. It's going to be all down to you. No one can do it for you. Mm -hmm. Um and then and that, that kind of brings me on to the next question, which is what's, what's your daily routine like? Because um, I, I've shared some of your stories on my IG um, in terms of your kind of weekly updates. Hmm. 
I love get messages from people saying, how did you do that? You know, so people want to know, like, are you in the gym 24 hours a day? Like, how does, how does it, what is your life like? Do you have a, um, what, what do you do day to day? Like, do you just stay in the gym all day and on? Or, no, uh, to, to be honest with you, um, having a set routine for gym has been very difficult because I unfortunately have, uh, I, had, I slipped two discs in my back. So that kind of um, meant that I was home for three months kind of working from home and on my lying down on the floor all day really uh, on my laptop. So it's like uh, I was just managing it through stretches and stuff. There wasn't a lot I was able to do in the gym. Um, I did try swimming, um, but again, there was no set routine. Um, so all of this up until now has been without a set routine uh, of exercise. Like I do get uh, two 30 minute walks a day because um, I've got a dog and I walk the dog for uh, twice a day. But other than that, there's no set routine of exercise that I've had up until now due to my injury. So um, hopefully that is something for me to step up as well. Uh, and it is something that I definitely will do going forward as my back gets better. I think I think that's um, a learning point as well in, in terms of some people think that actually the diet isn't uh, that big of a component and it all comes down to what you're doing in the gym and that's really where people uh, make the change in the way but actually you know you're 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 an example of actually you can do it even without exercise and that wasn't obviously deliberate it was because of your injury but um it just goes to show that it's possible which is i think i think it's great in terms of let, let's say you get up like hypothetically at seven o'clock how do you make it till how do you make it through till 4 p.m or because I know it's the earlier I wake up, the harder I find it to make it to to my eating window. How do you manage that? Um, I drink. I always have like a bottle of water next to my bed. So uh, as as soon as I wake up, I'll just start drinking a bit of water, um, and then I'll manage it through having green teas throughout the day, um, and also having um, uh, like black coffee, um, which at first actually really didn't taste good at all. Um, but I kind of like it with ice. Um, so if I make it myself, then um, I'll just basically put about four spoons of coffee, um, a little bit of hot water, mix it up, and then throw some ice in and some water. Uh, and uh, that kind of lasts me about an hour if I put it in one of my shakers. Uh, and that kind of just keeps me going. Um, but honestly, the drive itself comes uh, just through seeing results. So... Uh, always like uh, it, after if, once you've done it for a week, once you've done it for two weeks, uh, you definitely start to see the difference, uh, even in like your own body shape. So uh, take pictures. Uh, you don't have to post them on social media uh, unless you want to, but uh, take pictures and uh, and obviously see the comparisons yourself. Like I, I saw like a drastic change in my body within uh, you know the first two weeks, like body shape and stuff changed. So that was. Um, you know, quite positive and kind of kept me going and motivated as well. You are new to this. It's um, about learning from each other. Very sorry about that, but so my um, computer overheated and shut down. No worries, no worries. Um, so let's, let's just uh, maybe wrap up because I know it's taken up a lot of your time. Um, let's just do some quick fire questions. Um, mm -hmm. You could go back and do it again. What would you do differently? Uh, plan <laughs> so uh one of the uh, one of the big things i remember you saying uh initially when i was considering this was uh you have to plan your meals uh you have to pre-plan what you're going to have when you're going to have it uh and obviously uh, one thing is uh it's always nice that when you're hungry when you get to your window uh, be it four till eight that you can actually have some food at four o'clock when you're hungry so um, planning food you don't want to be stuck in a traffic jam and not have anything uh, so basically having a pack of nuts or having some fruit with you if you're on a motorway journey and there's a risk where you could get stuck um, just just make sure that you have something with you so definitely plan a lot better um, yeah and I think that that's kind of um, that makes sense with yourself as well because you have a really busy lifestyle and you're always kind of going to meetings back and forth so that's um, even more important if you're kind of at home you might have a bit more control um over the variables so what's your advice to people who want to get started like what would you say for them to do next if they're interested and they're inspired by your story and they think okay yeah i want to i want to know more about this or i want to give it a go what would you say is the next step for them 
I think I think a hundred percent do it. Um, uh, do your research into it. Research proves for itself. Uh, there's plenty on Ask Khabib's uh, YouTube channel as well. Uh, follow him on Instagram because there's loads on there where basically uh, you can learn and uh, hear from other people's experiences as well. Uh, and obviously just seek inspiration, challenge yourself and do it, really. Um, so definitely, yeah, definitely recommend it. And, and with The Warrior Diet, I mean, you've been doing it for three months now, which is which is incredible, starting off from 10 days. Um, what's been the worst moment so far? You don't have to answer that. Um, the worst moment was probably the wedding. Uh, that was hard, man, because uh, there was all sorts of food flying about. Um, so it wasn't just the challenging part in the morning when everyone was having the snacks. It was more kind of after the wedding, after the Anand Garaj, uh, everyone basically went in and there was chili paneer flying about and all sorts of so chocolate fountains and everything. So uh. that, that was quite a, a challenging moment to be fair. Um, but obviously just, uh, you know, had a nice meal afterwards so it was nice <laughs> and again it just goes to show how kind of um you know the social aspect is so much wrapped into kind of uh, what we eat um mm. and these occasions again you know but you know birthday cakes wedding cakes it's all kind of part of these the kind of social aspects so there's a lot of challenges um as you mentioned if you're stuck somewhere you go to a petrol station all the food choices are going to be unhealthy almost the majority of them so um so it is kind of, you are fighting against a lot of forces. What's been the best moment so far? The best moment so far was probably last Monday. Uh, um, I basically, I, I had a bit of a naughty week. So uh, I still uh, still kept within my window of uh, four hours. Um, but there were days where I did eat out and I did have, uh, you know, a couple of naughty meals. Um, and, um, but I think, that said, I still lost half a kilo in that week. Um, so I think like uh, the best part was to get to three months because I never thought I'd, uh, I don't think I've ever done anything consistently for three months in my life. Amazing. So uh, that was quite, uh, that was quite an achievement for me personally. That's amazing. And I think um, that consistency is the biggest thing that like you, you know, you're consistently, uh, <clears throat> you've been consistent. So that's why you've you know, achieved such amazing things. Um, so, um, a couple of last questions with adversity, like, let's say you, you probably had people that you're mad and all this kind of stuff. How do you deal with that kind of adversity? Say that again, sorry. You probably had people trying to talk you out of it and, um, you know, how do you deal with adversity in terms of from family or friends? I think, um, I think anyone sharing their opinion, uh, everyone has a valid opinion to share really. Uh, but then it's kind of also finding out what works for you personally. So it's like uh, I have friends who I've uh, shared like, um, you know, uh, what I'm doing and stuff and they've tried it. Uh, one friend in particular, he actually messaged me yesterday and he said, oh, BG, by doing this, not consistently, but by doing this, I've lost 11 kilos, um, you know, in just a couple of months. And he, uh, it was only about a month ago, I saw him sipping on a can of Fanta. And I looked at him and I was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> but, um, but, you know, so he's done it without, uh, you know, the, the, the everyday kind of discipline. So I think like um, that was one thing. But generally, like there's a lot of people out there who uh, I think have benefited from it and friends as well. So it's something I highly recommend, like uh, with family, friends as well all the time now, because it is something that works uh, and has worked for me. But obviously everyone's bodies are different. So different people react differently brilliant brilliant and that's that's really important as well not making kind of blanket statements like this is a panacea for everyone's problems it's you know try out see if it works for you um I'll, a couple more questions so what you you mentioned kind of someone's having fanta and you said you know what are you doing to um to yourself mm -hmm. um so what what do you eat i mean do you eat relatively clean i mean do you eat like soup salad all day or i mean during your four, four hour eating window like mm -hmm. what's a typical day I, I mix it up a bit. So obviously I do have a bit of a busy lifestyle where sometimes I'm out and on the road and stuff and kind of getting everywhere. So um, on the weekend, uh, I was in Manchester. We had an event in Manchester. So I was there the whole weekend and I just stuck to uh, just roti and sabji and dal. 
Um, you know, so I just had that, which was just normal food, really. Um, but like today, um, I've got mixed vegetables that I made. Uh, and I'll have like probably two corn burgers with it and some gravy. So that's like a good Sounds day, nice. personally. Um, so that I'll do that. But, um, you know, like it, it kind of just varies really. But they're like, you, like there's places like uh, if you do ever go to somewhere like Nando's, for example, uh, you can get a salad. So they do a nice quinoa salad um, and you can get some halloumi with it. Uh, and that kind of works for me as well. So uh, I do try and stay away from like heavy carbs as well. Not because of any reason in particular, but it's just because um, just kind of, you know, makes you sleepy and stuff afterwards and still yeah. want to be able to. So I do try and go with light portions of food. Um, but honestly, like it gets to a stage where it's like, um, I remember seeing yourself, uh, you know, when one of our friends had a bath at home and, I was having pasta and pizza, you know, and then I was just eating it because I'd just come from the gym and I was so hungry and I had no planned meals for that day. And obviously I still lost weight uh, and it was actually relatively a really good week as well. Uh, so I think like uh, a lot of the time, I'm not saying just go and binge, but sometimes if you do find yourself in a position, you can basically eat what everyone else is eating um but if you just keep that discipline within the windows that itself has a real real positive on your overall diet excellent and you've uh, you've obviously you've obviously been helping a lot of people people as well now so like what's next for you is that what you're is are you going to be able to kind of help are you going to focus on helping other people are you going to are you still got health goals that you want to reach are you going to do a bit of both yeah, so initially I started when I was 132 kilos uh, and my last weigh day uh, I was 109. Um, I'd like to get to 100 kilos uh, and then step up, um, you know, hopefully by then, uh, aiming for September, um, kind of hoping that I would be able to, I'd, I'd be a bit better with my back as well and I'd be able to have like a consistent routine in the gym and stuff. Um, but I think 100 kilos for me has been a goal. So I want to get to 100 kilos and then just kind of take it from there. Um, I think intermittent fasting personally is always going to be something that's part of my life uh, and my diet. So um, uh, I might not continue for the rest of my life doing the warrior diet. Um, but um, I think like I will, the ideal goal is that when I do want to come off the warrior diet, uh, I think I'll probably go on to like 16 hour fast uh, and then maybe later on, 14 hours, 12 hours, and then just kind of stay at 10 or 12 hour fast. Um, yeah. That's kind of where I'd like to be uh, long term. But I'm going to continue to actually go um, with the warrior diet for now. Amazing. And um, and that's, uh, that's really insightful as well. Uh, uh, I think that... Um, it is it is a it is a lifelong journey as you said it's a lifestyle it's not like a a kind of a fad um that you know you do this and then you lose some weight and then you you know you fluctuate back and down up and down because it has changed it sounds like it's changed your eating habits somewhat so your food choices somewhat kind of the way you socialize in terms of food somewhat so that's obviously changing kind of more deep brain psychological stuff as opposed to just you know eat this eat that so um, that's going to stick with you. It affects your hormones. So that's going to have a lasting impact as well in terms of increasing your sensitivity to insulin again and so helping prevent diabetes type of, types of things like that. So you've done really well. Just want to congratulate you and um, thank you for kind of sharing your journey because there's you know, there very few people out there who have put themselves out there to be able to help others. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart from, for that. Um, if people want to get in touch with you and... Um, get advice with what's the best way for them to contact uh, or do you want to contact be honest with you any advice I get is from yourself so uh, you just go to Habib's Instagram page and YouTube but if you do want to message me you can it's Bubban Singh Akita uh, on Instagram um, but honestly uh, I've kind of done this with very like I, I don't have the knowledge to kind of back it up but obviously the guidance from yourself and uh, the other videos on the channel and stuff has obviously been very inspiring uh, and obviously just sharing it with other people as well so it's like uh like like i said this all started off me having a conversation with another brother called rajit singh um who just smashed it he done it for five months and he lost so much weight like about 30 kilos i think it was so 
he proper smashed it. And obviously, if if, if I can basically put my own story out there and uh, and inspire even one person, then brilliant. But it's definitely uh, everyone, anyone and everyone should look into, uh, even if your goal is not just to uh, lose weight, uh, I think living a healthier lifestyle and eating the right things is kind of should be a goal for everyone, really. Uh, and that's something that obviously, hopefully, have seen to have a positive impact on, you know, with friends and family as well. So that's something that everyone should do, regardless of how you look. Excellent. So, Thank you so much for your time. I know we've taken up a lot of your time. I really, I really appreciate it. And sorry about all the you know, technical difficulties. And um, Thank you. And I'm sure we'll have you on in kind of three months' time again, if you have some time, yeah. and then uh, find out how your journey is progressing. Definitely, yeah. Mine's good, pal. Thanks.